see what we can see. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, today in our vlog, we're just going to be looking at a couple different clips uh, from the range uh, today. What you're looking at here, uh, we were <clears throat> trying to figure out why one of the students was uh, pulling the shots down. And the biggest thing we were trying to work on was maintaining sight picture, uh, getting our sight alignment and our sight picture uh, to be steady and consistent. This isn't a still. She actually was holding that firearm very, very still. Uh, we're going to get the shot going off. We're going to see the follow through. Um, and this was a good shot. Uh, so we had made some changes, some corrections, and she did beautifully on that shot. Okay, so I'm going to aim for this deal here. All right. I can't see nothing. I missed, right? Yep. So remember, you want to keep that hold nice and steady. The trigger break should be more of a surprise. You're going to focus on keeping that sight picture as perfect as possible. Bang, there we go. So here, uh, we definitely made some progress with getting on target and staying on target. We're having a little bit of overcompensation on the follow through. You see the, the muzzle dipping uh, downwards a little bit much, but that's something that can be worked out over time. All right, so once again, we are not looking at a still shot. Uh, we are back in slow motion capture again. <clears throat> um, again, we were trying to figure out with this student uh, why we were shooting and missing uh, the target. As you can see, the pistol is very still. Even while moving the finger to the trigger, uh, the pistol is not moving. But you're going to see a dip uh, in the muzzle. Uh, right before the shot and you'll see the dirt splash right below the target uh, in the back of the frame right there bang right underneath the target So here we're working with the Taurus 856 Revolver 38 Special, uh, doing a little bit of comparative shooting between the single action modes and the double action. Uh, as you can see from that clip, if you back up a little bit, um, there's not nearly as much movement in single action. Granted, you're going to have much shorter trigger travel. Um, so from the time that you want to take the shot to actually drop in a hammer, uh, you're not going to be able to introduce as much movement. Um, in double action, it's a much harder and longer trigger pull, so you're a lot of times going to uh, introduce a little bit more movement uh, to the pistol. Yes, nice and even. Yep. Right. That was fast. <laughs> so I like to get my finger on the trigger just for a second mm -hmm. and then start easing back. So instead of coming from index to pulling it, okay. I get on it and then I roll it on back. Okay. And one more here. See, I told you, got the twofer. I got the twofer. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to reach up with our support thumb and pull that hammer back. So that was a strong thumb, but that's okay. My thing, I, I go with the support thumb just so oh, I can you keep my support. grip. I'm sorry. No, okay. you're good. You're, you're good. Just so you can keep that grip solid. Okay. And then I bring that support back, but that's fine. All right. So it's going to be a lot shorter, mm -hmm. a lot lighter. Let's see what you got. Go ahead and put my hand on the trigger. Yes, ma'am. All right, and here just to be clear, uh, she didn't miss the target. It was actually a very good shot. Uh, she's shooting at the paper silhouette. The thing is, I have a 12-inch metal gong placed behind it um, in the relative A zone. So that's where you know when we started talking about the twofer. Uh, we were getting a good shot on paper and getting uh, an associated ding from the gong in the back as well. So you should have one more shot, so go ahead and reach up with that support. And let's see if we can get all three of these in the black here. Doing good. Hey! 
next one then. Okay. That's it. So, you shot all six. Mm -hmm. So, you're going to take that little, uh, uh, the, my brain is, is dying yeah, in the cold good. too. <laughs> uh, yes, the cylinder Yes, it was about, uh, push it about 36 degrees hands. at this I like point. I think this is probably the coldest day that I've actually ran a class at the same time um, outside, but. Forward. Again, kind of these like students the handled it, it uh, with great poise and yep. had some and very good shooting results in the cold <laughs> with slightly with numbing hands. Thumb, I know my toes was numb yeah, by the so time I was done. You forward with your strong thumb yeah. and then you're flicking the cylinder oh. out with your support hand. Okay. Because it's going from right to left. So I kind of reach around and just pop it on out. Gotcha. Excellent. Okay. All right. There we go. So you can turn it upside down and those should drop out. Another right. excellent day with... Uh, <laughs> TDS training and education. All right, you know, we got to take a look at some of these hits. Look at this, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Today we mostly worked with the paper targets at three yards. Um, <clears throat> you can see we covered up some of those, but those were grouped really well. Uh, we did some, uh, this lady that was on the end, she was pretty stellar in the center. Then we started working a little bit in the head there. Uh, those three, those kind of got squirrely with the uh the 38 special it's not really a revolver shooter uh i think first time and then of course we had some uh a little bit of steel plate action with those new x steel plates they took these hits really well okay splatters but no pitting or anything like that got a couple uh, over here you can see these are the nine millimeter hits these are the 22 hits handed it perfectly right at 10 yards and this one was sitting at about 13 yards uh, it's one of my friend's plates, so excellent. I excellent. can't really feel my fingers right now. Um, I don't know why I got my jacket open other than to show you uh, this is TDS training and education. Um, look, you guys that have been through my classes, I appreciate y'all. Y'all have been excellent. Um, all you folks that are looking for classes, I'm looking for you. So keep, uh, keep tuned into the website. And if you can, join the Wix app. Uh, for TDS, through, uh, you can check it out on my website. There'll be a little link at the top that'll jump on there, but you'll get uh, pretty much first notifications for when new classes are going to be posted. So sometime this weekend, I should have the February schedule up, and uh, shortly after that, uh, we should have February through March, and uh, we're going to keep it rocking, all right? So you guys be safe, happy shooting. Thank you for tuning in. TDS, peace.